This is Eugene Henrykovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurges.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite C765D laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite C675D laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we have to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery on the bottom. So what you do is you flip the laptop over, and there's two levers on the, each side of the battery. You slide both of them out, and then you just pull the battery out like so. And once the battery is out, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, next step with this or any other laptop or computer is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame that goes around the screen in order to get to the screen assembly. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove four screws that are hiding behind plastic screw covers, two on the top and two on the bottom. So before we start doing that, let's go over the tools that we're going to use. Uh, first, we have some electronics screwdriver. The one that we'll use most of the time is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. We also have a smaller PH00 screwdriver, just in case if there's any smaller screws. And a small 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver to get to some screws or an angle or to pry things off. We also have an X-Acto knife, or a hobby knife, with a pointed blade, and that's to remove the plastic screw covers, and a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove any screws that might be stuck. Alright, so let's get started. Let's first remove the plastic screw covers. We use our X-Acto knife, and what I like to do with those is put them right beside the screw opening so we don't lose them. And we do the same thing on this side. And then we go on the bottom. On the bottom it's a little bit harder to reach, but it's not too bad. We can do it. Okay, it came off. Then we put it on the side. And finally the fourth one. It came off and we put it on the side. Then we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the four screws. We go one by one. One. Two. And you have to reach a little bit of an angle, but not too bad on the bottom one. Make sure you get a gri good grip at first to get it going so you don't strip it. Three. And finally, four. Okay. And for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which they're removed. So when you're putting the laptop back together, it's easier to keep track of which screws go where. Once the screws have been removed, it's time to snap off the screen bezel. And the way you do that is put your fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the plastic bezel and listen for snapping sounds. If you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sign because the bezel is coming off. And right away, I see that I missed two screws. So there's two more screws up here. I thought they were just uh, bumpers, but they're actually screws. So we're going to remove these two also. And then you remove the rubber pieces on top, and you see some screws behind there. And for these bigger rubber pieces, I'm just going to put them to the side so that they don't fall off and I'll lose them later on. So we remove these two screws on top that I missed before. One and two. We probably can keep them in the same pile because they're the same size and they're from the same step. 
Okay, so moving along. Keep snapping the screen bezel off. Go all the way around. If he gets stuck at a spot, uh, just go somewhere else and find somewhere else to snap it off and come back to the spot you're stuck at. And do the same thing on the bottom. Keep moving along. And we use our flathead screwdriver down here to help us out a little bit to remove the hinge covers. Like so. And we put the screen bezel to the side. Okay, next, once the screen assembly is exposed, what we want to do is get to screws that are on the side of the screen assembly that are holding the screen to the metal bounding brackets on the side. And let me show you where their screws are. There's three on each side, one here, here, and here. For most laptops, they're a bit hard to get to, so you have to loosen up some screws at the top and at the bottom. But for this one, it's pretty easy to get to. So all you have to do is tilt the screen a screen a little bit forward from the screen assembly, and you can get to all three. And then you start removing them one by one. Okay, one. And we start a separate pile for these screws. It's the next step. Two. Three. Oops, we dropped that one, so you don't want to do that. I'll pick it up later. Okay, and we do the same thing for this one. One. And two, and when you do this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit. So when you remove the last screw, screw the screen just doesn't fall forward on you. And three. Okay, so once the, all the screws are out, we gently tilt the screen forward, and right away we see that the webcam cable has some adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen. So we try to lift that up. And there's some tape and we gently move it forward and put it down like this. Now usually I don't like to remove the webcam connector because you have to connect it back up and that gives us more problems. But in this case I'm gonna remove it. The reason is I wanna it's a lot easier to remove the connector to the screen if we remove the webcam connector. Okay, so for this type of screen, it's a 17.3 inch LED screen, and there's only one connector, and we have to remove this connector. And the way we do that is lift up the adhesive tape that's holding the connector first. So we use our X-Acto knife for fingernails to get it started. And to remove the adhesive tape, put that to the side, and we'll reuse it later. And sometimes there's adhesive on the back of the video cable that's attached to the screen, so we have to lift that up, remove that. And also there's some adhesive tape on top of the main connector itself, so we lift that up. And once all the adhesive is removed, we gently slide the connector back like so, and it's off. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector because this is the biggest source of trouble that I see. So when you reconnect it, make sure you feel two clicks. You won't hear them, but you'll feel two clicks when the connector is properly engaged. And let's get a close-up to see what the connection is supposed to look like. Let's see if we can get, get focus. Okay, this is a good focus. Okay, there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks the same as this one. There's no gap. Okay, so let's keep let's keep moving. We remove the connector again, slide it out, and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 17.3 inch 
LED screen. It's a pretty standard screen, not too hard to find. And the number that you're looking for is LP173WD1. That's the only number you need. LP173WD1. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons uh, sell this screen. And what you get with us is a free two-year warranty that comes with the screen. Also, we have free email technical support. So when you do your screen installation and you run into problems, you can send us email and we'll help you out. We also provide this tool, this exact same toolkit that you see for free with every screen that we ship or just about every screen. It will definitely be with this screen that we ship. And also so that you get your screen fast, we have warehouses in Los Angeles, Tucson, Chicago, and Philadelphia where we ship the screens from in the United States. And if you're outside the United States, most likely we can ship it to your country. We ship we shipped to many countries. Okay, uh, to order the screen from us, um, go to www.screensurgeons.com and there you'll either have a choice of filling out a short form with your email and laptop model and we'll send you back a quote and a link or you can go directly to our search engine there and you can find the screen to buy it directly online. Okay, once you do get the screen it's not too hard to put it back in so connect the connector as I showed you, put that adhesive tape back on top Put the screen back. Make sure you reconnect the webcam connector. It just slides in there. It's not too hard. Put the screws in on each side. And then snap the screen bezel back on. And put the six screws in and the covers for the screws on the screen bezel. And you'll be done. And that's it. So, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen dock. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.